Laura Muir against a pretty strong field here at her teammate Laura Waitman. Both of them have made the Olympic final. Uh, Zoe Buckman has had a very good year for Australia. Uh, Hannah England not starting, but plenty of other British interests. Sarah McDonald, who had a very good season. Steph Twell is in this. And uh, Ailish McColgan, both of them honk footing from Brussels last night. Ailish running a personal best at 5,000 metres. Great transition to, the, to that event for her, 15.05, so she might be a little leg weary. Alison Leonard, who's talked about making the real move from 800 to 1,500 metres next year. Of course, so disappointed not to be selected for Rio. So I think we've been through most of the main contenders. Rosie Clark also in this, who moved up to the uh, steeplechase this year. Laura Muir, though, right in the middle. And, uh, of course, she's the one everybody will be watching out for. She's had a busy time since Rio. She won the Diamond League. I talked about that race in Zurich, Paula. Um, obviously, after that performance that she had in, in Paris, then went to Zurich, then jumped on the plane, went to New York, ran the brilliant Fifth Avenue Mars, just got pipped by Jenny Simpson there, and it's great that she's come back from New York. I heard she did a bit of shopping and had a, did a bit of sightseeing, but I'm sure she'll be tough to beat today. Yeah, I think she did the whole sightseeing um, experience and the Lion King and everything in New York. But um, I think just enjoying her racing at the end of the season and gaining that experience over road miles. And actually, I think the road mile probably suits Laura Muir a little bit more than almost the track does because she runs very well. She races very well on the cross country. And this is kind of closer to cross country in that kind of mindset of just being able to, to visualize the road stretching out ahead of you um, and gauge your effort perfectly. And that's what's tough, I think, in the closing stages of a road mile is that you don't come off the final bend and know that you've got 100 meters to go. You see it stretched out in front of you and you have to be able to have that faith and that judgment in your own fitness to be able to, to time it perfectly. Well, she's not chasing any records here today, so they're all spread out there. Katie Mackey of the USA and uh, Zoe Buckman, as I said, who's uh, had a very good season. Behind her, her teammate Genevieve Lacaz and the blonde hair. In the blonde hair, has blonde hair. <laughs> Genevieve uh, had a great season, the new personal best at steeplechase, also at 5,000 metres. Steph 12 tucked in there, Alison Leonard there, Ailish McColgan just a little bit off at the moment, Rosie Clark at the back there as well. So they've gone through 400 metres in a pretty pedestrian 76, and if the final in Rio was an 800 metre race, this is in danger of um, producing or being something similar here. So slow pace, Paula, and now they, as they come round this section, this is usually where things start to heat up a little. Yeah, I think they're just taking a little bit of time to, to settle into the race. Laura Muir at the front controlling it. And this is what I talked about that maybe she could have done in Rio, was just getting to the front and getting it ticking over at a reasonable pace. I mean, we'll see some of the mile splits here are different to, to and then the lap times, the 400 meter splits, dip very different to what they would be on the track there, 220 something through um, 800 meters. So it has picked up a little bit and I think a gradual wind up from here will suit Laura Muir, will also suit Laura Waitman and uh, Jen Lacaz, uh, Ailish McColgan, I think hanging on the back at the moment and obviously she's going to be tired after running a personal best and what Ailish has done differently this season. She doesn't have that depth of, of twice a day training. She's been having to back it up a lot with cross training. And that does mean, unfortunately, that towards the end of the season, you're running on very, very tired legs. So Laura Muir just starting to wind it up. Laura Waitman trying to go with her. Katie Mackey of the USA rock and rolling a little bit as they take the corner. And they've got about 550 meters to go at this point. They'll get that little up rise up here. You can see how they slow. They bend into the steep little bank there, but then they drop down. So it's the two Lauras for Great Britain, first and second. Still a long way to go here. Laura Muir doing what she's been doing all season, stamping her authority on this. Laura Waitman still trying to give chase, the 215 meter specialist, but there are all others trying to improve their position further back. As Paula was saying, Ailish McColgan looking a little bit tired, Zoe Buckman at the back as well. So Laura Muir still saving a little bit, I think. Katie Mackey in third place, trying to stalk Laura Waitman, who's now starting to fight a little bit, but they'll be able to see the track at this point, about 250 meters left. So Laura Muir, what a year it's been for her. She wants to finish with a big victory. Look at Ailish McColgan now coming back into it. Muir, though, a 10-meter lead at this point. Laura Waitman now under some pressure from Alison Leonard, and Ailish McColgan continues to make progress as they head with 150 to go. Laura Muir with a comfortable lead, but Alison Leonard starting to try and run her down a little bit. Katie Mackey and Laura Waitman fighting for third place. And Laura Muir 
just lasting this out, but Alison Leonard is closing the gap. She hasn't got enough time, I don't think, to catch Laura Muir. Laura looking a little bit tired, and so she should be at this point. What a year it's been for her. It's going to hold off Alison Leonard. She wins it. Laura Muir first, Alison Leonard, then Mackie, then Waitman, and then McColgan. 4.34, the winning time. Well, she won it in the middle of the race, didn't she? Laura attacked hard off the swing bridge, put in a big effort. Just came under a bit of pressure from Alison Leonard in the last 150. He was looked a little bit tired, but you can uh, well uh, you can allow her that, can't you, Paula? She had enough though, enough space to uh, hang on there for the win. You can allow her that definitely. And I think you can undoubtedly say that this is a tough road mile as well. The times, if you contrast that for 4:33.99, it's coming off as but 4:34, winning time for Laura Muir when she ran 4:18 mid 4:18s in New York um, shows that this is a tough uh, race. It's a lot of incline in it, a lot of twists and it's possibly windy out there today as well but she judged that well and she dominated the race and the real race was behind her to see who could get those second third fourth fifth places and indeed it was Eilish McColgan just at the back of the shot there closing quickly on Laura Waitman um, to for fourth and fifth there but she finished extremely fast and I think she was a prime example of, of judging it well whereas the others maybe committed a little bit too much in that incline coming up to 500 meters to go. Well, she's had plenty to celebrate this year. One more win to celebrate. She's with Phil. Well, Steve, you're right. Uh, Steve Crumpson, you've had a lot to say.